Hey YouTube, it's Justin answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. Today Carthian asks, what is the difference between a framework and a library? And by library, I'm assuming you mean Python library. Now, let's talk about frameworks first. What is a framework exactly? Well, a framework is a collection of code that allows you to accomplish something, right? So in the old days of doing things, when you would use a programming language, you would write all the code yourself. For example, if you wanted to build a web application, you would start with no Python code and then build each step of the way to actually build your own Python backend that eventually would power your front end as well. Django takes away a lot of the repetitive things that you need to do. In fact, this is what all frameworks do. They take away the repetition that you would need to actually build something. So for example, when you're designing a website, you can write everything in HTML and CSS yourself, or you can use a framework because a lot of the things that need to be done are already done, and then you can just add your own code that sort of overwrites what's in the framework to build it as your own unique thing. Here's another example of that. If you were building a house, I could hand you the wood, the screws, the nails, all the tools that you would need to actually build the house, right? You, I mean, in theory, you could do it, but it, it would be very hard to do. Now, if I handed you a already built framework of a house and all you had to do was paint it and maybe, you know, put some, some doors on and, and perhaps add some lights, it's gonna be a lot easier to do, right? You can paint it whatever color you'd like, but the framework, if the framework's already up in the house, it makes it a lot easier to complete a house versus if it's not, right? And that's kind of the same sort of concept. Granted, I'm, I'm making it a lot simpler than it needs to be, but really what it comes down to is it's pre-written code that's already built for you to use. Django's an example of a framework. Bootstrap um, is an example of a front-end framework. And there's other frameworks out there too. Those are just two examples that we use a lot. Now, when it's talking about Python libraries and how those relate, well, Django is a Python library. It's a collection of Python code that, that does something. It goes to accomplish something. Another Python library is called Python requests. That's another library that's a collection of Django, or excuse me, of Python modules that come together to create one cohesive project that is called a library. And that's just essentially what it's called. It's also known as a package. Sometimes those two things are interchanged. Like the pip does it is a Python package installer, which is basically installing different Python packages and it's getting it from the Python libraries or also known as package. So those two things are interchangeable. Um, and, and that's specific for Python itself. Hopefully that's what you're asking about. Um, thanks so much for the question. I think it's a really good one, especially the framework part of it. Like what exactly is a framework and why is it beneficial? Really, it's a shortcut. It allows you to do a lot of things really quickly because it's code that's already written and a bunch of developers probably came together or even a few developers came together to solve problems that a lot of people might have to go through to actually get their project done. And this is done so much in software because it helps speed up the process Instead of having to write everything manually yourself or even in your small team or a big team, you can just use a framework to accomplish the goals of your project. Thanks again for the question. Um, again, we're answering your questions at joincfe.com slash knock. My name is Justin. See you guys in the next one.